Following a deadly ER crash earlier this year, a state senator is now looking at making Texas hospitals safer. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nabil Ramadna. KXAN investigator Matt Grant's reporting has already sparked a proposed code change in Austin, and tonight he's pressing for even broader change. Nearly eight months to the day after a drunk driver drove her car into St. David's North Austin Medical Center, killing herself and seriously injuring five, including the Bernard family. I was thinking, okay, so this is what dying feels like. State Senator Royce West has a message. We emphasize to the Bernard family, what happened to you was a tragedy, and it shouldn't happen again in the state of Texas, and I'm going to do everything I can in my power to make sure it doesn't happen again. The Dallas Democrat taking notice of KXAN's investigations, which found more than 300 similar crashes across the country in the past decade. So all of that's taken into consideration, but that particular number is alarming. Earlier this year, we traveled to Texas A&M's Transportation Institute near College Station to see how crash-rated security barriers, called bollards, can stop a speeding car. After the crash in Austin and during our investigation, St. David's installed a dozen bollards. While experts say these devices save lives, we found no local, state, or federal requirement for critical infrastructure, like hospitals, to have them, even though medical facilities carry extra risk, with patients in distress driving right up to the entrance. Do you think hospitals should be required to install crash-rated security bollards? You know, given what happened to the Bernard family, we need to really look at that particular issue. Thank you to KXAN. Also looking at this issue, the Austin City Council, which will vote on whether to require bollards at new hospitals in December. I asked West if he wants to see a statewide standard. We'll sit down with the, uh, with the hospitals and kind of get their take on exactly how we go about tackling and resolving this particular problem. Something you're committed to looking at. I'm into. committed to it, right. He's also committed to meeting with the Bernard family during the legislative session, saying what happened here should concern all lawmakers. You do a cost-benefit analysis, life over a few dollars. And you know where I'm going to come down on that. I think life is more important than a few dollars. Senator West says he wants to meet with hospital officials and research what other states have done. We checked and found in 2022, California updated its law to allow insurance discounts for businesses that install bollards. And at least five cities passed local rules requiring them for businesses, three sparked by deadly accidents. At the Capitol, Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. Our investigation also sparked a bollard review at all federal facilities in the Southwest. Congressman Lloyd Doggett's office asked the General Service Administration to look into this following our reporting. That review is ongoing. Catch up on Matt's entire series online. Just look for the Preventing Disaster button in this investigation section on KXAN.com.